Hey, welcome again to my channel. This is a place where we do one thing. We teach the Bible. Teach the Bible every day, a couple times a day. So I hope you'll subscribe to it. Hit the, hit the bell so you get notified every time something rolls out. Make comments. Help me get this out to as many people as you can. We just teach the Bible. It is amazing how someone seems to show up at our weakest moments with a cell phone. And what do they do? They take a picture. It was January 28th, 2014. I came out of open heart surgery, triple bypass. The nurse had me stand up, still connected to a bunch of machines, wires and stuff rolling everywhere, and had me stand up behind a wheelchair to walk for the first time after they gave me something to eat, and I ate it, did what I was supposed to do. Well, my wife and daughter were in the room. What'd my daughter do? Well, she whipped out her cell phone and took a picture. Took a picture of the old boy. <laughs> right after he came out of heart surgery. Wasn't pretty. Wasn't pretty at all. Not long ago, she pulled that picture up and showed it again to the entire family. It was a self-look, and it was not a pretty one. We need to take a much different self-look from time to time. Romans 12, verses 2 and 3 defines that self-look we need to take. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by, do, for by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourselves more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. See, God's call for the Christ follower is to live a life that does not conform to the pattern of the world, but to live a life that is transformed by the renewing of your mind. Christ renews your mind with the truth of his word and the power of the Holy Spirit. It's good to take a self look at, at how we're doing in that transformation. You know, to know to know where you'd like to go, you need to know where you are. So it's good to take a self look at that from time to time. He says, "Don't think of yourselves more highly than you ought. Don't overrate yourselves. Never take a, take a self look and assume that you have arrived at a place of the at the place of the the spiritual giant. You know why? You have not, nor have I. Take a sober self look." with the measure of faith that God has given you. Notice that God gave you the faith and it comes from him. And that's how you take a look at yourself with a measure of the faith that God gave you. Take the self look by faith. It's not a picture of you at your worst, like the picture of me after my heart surgery. And it's, a not, a, it's not a picture of you at your best. Ask God how he sees you. And then it becomes a faith self look. And God will show you how you really are and let you know, hey, you know, this is what you, maybe you need to spend more time in the word. Maybe you need to spend more time in prayer, but ask God how he sees you. Consider that and he will help you take a self look by faith. And it's a good thing. Bless your heart. Have a good day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.